one of my favorite things to draw is fur, but it's also something that a lot of people seem to feel a bit apprehensive about. So today I want to go through my method of drawing fur with color pencils. I kind of think of it as my easy foolproof method. So let's go through the technique and then I can show you it in action when I draw this very sweet little mouse. So I'm just going to draw a rectangle of a random patch of ginger fur, just to show you how this will work. So the very first thing that I always like to do when drawing fur is to build up some base layers. I don't want to jump straight into building up fur texture just straight on white paper. So I've started off by finding the absolute lightest color that I can see within the fur. So I am drawing this from a reference photo and the very lightest color I can see is a kind of pale yellow. This is the lightest yellow in my set and I just want to put down a nice, smooth, even coverage. So notice, first off, I am pressing very lightly. And to help me do that, I'm holding the pencil quite a bit further back than you would normally expect. I'm also working in circular motions, very fast circular motions which is gonna help this look as smooth as I can. And I'm literally just covering the whole area that I'm going to be drawing this fur. So once I have this first color down, I then want to gradually work my way through the colors. So I'm working from the very lightest color towards some of the darker colors. Now the next darkest color I can see is a kind of earthy yellow. And what I'm going to do is put that anywhere where I can see this color. Essentially what I'm doing is looking past the fur at the colors underneath. Now this little patch of fur I'm drawing isn't all the same color. It's a little section of a ginger tabby cat. So there's a couple of sort of streaks running through it that are a fair bit darker. Because underneath those darker streaks, it has a kind of underlying yellowish color. I can use this color to begin marking out where those streaks are going to be. And that'll help make my life a little bit easier later on. The most important thing I'm doing here though is still working nice and smoothly, very lightly. I don't want to be building up any sort of fair texture and I don't want to be pressing hard. I want to make sure that I can get a lot of pencil down. I want to build up a lot of layers. So from here I'm looking for the next darkest color I can see which is more like an orangey brown and I can once again mark that in everywhere where I can see even a little bit of this color but still nice and lightly this is where I'm really starting to mark in a lot of those darker strips that I mentioned. It's important to note that I don't want any really abrupt lines while I'm doing this so I'm really sort of blending one color into the next so that it looks as smooth as possible. And then I can go on to a darker kind of reddish brown. Once again, put this down in exactly the same way as I have for the other colors, anywhere where I can see this color. Now in actuality, some of the sort of streaks from the tabby fair do look like they go a bit darker than this. But I'm not going to worry about that at this point. I'll build up the fur texture before I add in some of those absolute darkest parts. So once I've done this last color, I've really built up a very good and clear framework of this patch of fur. The last thing I'm noticing for now is that I just want to add a bit more of this orange color. Once I built up a certain amount of the pencil, it becomes a bit more apparent what is missing. So obviously at this point, it doesn't look a great deal like fur. It's not looking particularly like anything at this point, but that's fine. We've now got a really good base to build some texture on. So to build up some texture now, I'm working through exactly the same colors as I did for the base layer. So starting off with that quite light yellowish color, and I just want to make flicking motions going against the paper. So I'm just very gently brushing a nice and sharp pencil against the paper relatively quickly, and it's making these fur-like strokes. Now the main things I'm thinking about here is particularly the direction of the fur. So even in this very small patch of fur, the hair isn't all going in the same way. I can look at the reference photo and work out which direction it should go in and that will help it look far more realistic. I'm also looking at the length of the fur. If it was quite long fur, I would make very long flicks with the pencil. If it was short fur, I'd make short flicks. I would say that this is kind of a medium length fur. And I pretty much wanna work my way through those same colors creating these flicking motions. Still looking at that reference photo, 
so I can try and get this to match as closely as possible. I'm not trying to get every stroke in the same place as on the reference though, I'm really just trying to make sure that this hair is in the right direction. So you can see how it gradually builds up. It's really a case of slowly building up the layers so that eventually it looks like realistic fur. And it is having all of the different layers of color here that is what makes it look realistic. So as I'm working my way through the colors here, I am moving on to some darker colors. So as I mentioned, some of these stripes in the fur look like they go darker than the color I used for the base layer. But because I'm adding these flicks now, I can go a bit darker with the pencil and it's not gonna overpower everything. So once I've built up some of the more obvious colors with these flicking motions, I can then move on to some of the less obvious colors. Like for example, here I'm using quite a dark gray because there are a few areas where I can see a little hint of this. And then I can also use a more earthy red. So again, add a little bit more depth, a little bit more interest to some of these stripes. So by the time that I've gone over the whole section a number of times with all of these different colors creating these flicking motions, I have a patch of fur that does look quite textured. It does look like fur, but it looks a little bit scratchy. There's something about it that doesn't look soft and fluffy like I generally want my fur to look. So what I want to do at this point is go back over this fur with the same kind of circular motions that I did for the base layers. I can use the reference photo to work out which colors I think would benefit going over the top and just use circular motions once again pressing lightly it ends up making the whole thing look much softer. So once I'm generally happy with how the fur is looking what I then want to do is add some of the lightest hairs back in. So generally where I'm building up all of these layers some of the really light hairs and light patches of fur get a bit lost. So what I like to do is take a tool called a craft knife and just so, so gently scrape away some of the layers of pencil. And this reveals the pencil that I put down right at the very beginning, that very light yellow. Now I can't stress enough that I'm very gently sort of scraping this against the surface of the paper. I'm not applying any pressure at all. I don't want to risk damaging the paper. And you can see that by using a craft knife like this, you can really add some good detail, some good light hairs over the top of some of the darker hairs. It creates a very nice realistic looking effect. From here, the last things that I'll do is add some final details using a lot of the methods that I've used up until now. So that's the method. Now I can show you how I use this to draw a mouse. As always, the full tutorial is available on my Patreon. I work with a wide variety of subject matter, drawing some smaller things like this onto some much bigger projects like this. Every drawing includes in-depth instructions, the reference photo, sketch outlines, and details of all of the colors I'll be using. Check out the link in the description. So I'm starting off here with the mouse, building up those base layers just like I did before. So building up some gray, some pink, some browns. And then once I'm happy with the base layers, I can then go over the top with those flicking motions, adding in the actual fur texture. And then I can go over the top of that fur texture and add some extra shading. So smooth the whole thing out so it looks a lot less scratchy. Then at that point, I go in with my craft knife, add in any of those lighter hairs and any final details. So that's my method of drawing fur with color pencils. If you're still feeling a little bit unsure on how to make the flicking hair motion, for example, check out this video here where I go into it in a lot more detail. As always, happy drawing guys, and I'll see you in the next one.